Today, we will be testing the TCGAI Tools Indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for trading view you can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account you can also find a link below to join us on discord lastly if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel you can sign up for our nine dollar Patreon, and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said today, we will be testing the TCGAI Tools Indicator. Before we do, though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 64 different strategies, with 16 of them being profitable. We've also tested a total of 851 indicators, with 352 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. We've also retested in the advance testing 53 of the winning indicators. 19 of them have been able to maintain the winning status. The best one, a 76% win rate. Now keep in mind that we test most of these strategies and indicators on the Forex and crypto market, but they can be applied to just about any market and time frame universally. All right, so today's indicator is going to be the TCGAI Tools Indicator. You can see it here on the bottom of the screen. Uh, the setup on this is uh, rather interesting. And so we basically have three different indicators that we're kind of working together in a full system here. I'll run through them real quick here. So basically the solid line running down the middle here is going to be uh, uh, not notating kind of the overall trend direction. And so that's done by two moving averages, kind of like your, uh, your standard uh, slow moving average, fast moving average. Uh, creates the uh, uptrend or the downtrend. We then have this background coloration right here, green, green there, and red here. That's when price is breaking out of Bollinger Bands. When it breaks to the downside, we get the red uh, background coloration there. When it breaks to the upside, we get the green coloration uh, kind of background there. Then lastly, we have uh, the arrows here. And so these arrows are uh, notating when the RSI is in the oversold or overbought position. Now the colors are kind of flipped on these. So uh, when the RSI breaks out to the upside in the overbought uh, position, then it's going to give us a red arrow looking for short trades. When we get a green arrow, that means that the RSI has broke out to the downside in a oversold area. So the way we're gonna put these together is uh, first and foremost, uh, we're looking for the background coloration of the kind of big uh, bar here. And so what we're looking for is going to be a kind of reversal trade opportunities. So first, when we have the coloration of the background here, green uh, means that we are looking for uh, kind of short trades. I know that's kind of weird to think of it that way. Uh, but again, we're looking for the reversal here off of uh, the Bollinger Bands and the RSI. 
And so uh, when we have the green background, we're looking for short trades. When we have the red background, we're looking for long trades. And so what we're looking for is the green background. And then we get a, a coloration from the Bollinger Bands in green, which means that we've broke out to the upside and we're kind of overextended. We're then looking for confirmation either um, before or right at the end of the Bollinger Band confirmation in the way of the arrow, the reversal area for arrow for the RSI. And so I know that might be a little hard uh, to kind of understand. So let's look at this one right here. It might be easier to kind of see. So we're in the green coloration. We're getting these red arrows, but we're not going to take those yet. We're waiting for the break of the Bollinger Band as well. It may never come like right here. And uh, if we scroll back, we can see also right here and right here, even though we have that uh, bar coloration there, we never get the break of the Bollinger Band. So we're looking for the break of the Bollinger Band, and then we're looking for there to uh, either have been a arrow or an arrow right at this point here, right when the Bollinger Band signal ends. Um, so before, at some point in that green or right as it ends, that's going to then be the signal to go short. And so basically what we're looking for is a breakout of the Bollinger Band and then a rebound back. And that's going to uh, kind of be uh, 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 supported by the RSI. And so if I scroll back here, you can kind of see another example right here. We have the red, you can see uh, the red overall trend. You can see that we get the red uh, uh, Bollinger Band breakout right here. And then right here, right as that red Bollinger Band background ends, notating that we're breaking or going back into the Bollinger Bands, then we pick up this green arrow right here, and that would be a signal to the go long. And so I hope that makes sense. Let's go ahead and play it forward and we'll just kind of look at it as we go. Okay, so we're going to pick up the first signal right here on this one. Haven't played around with this much, so just kind of playing with it here as well. So we have the green coloration right here, the big solid ribbon bar there. We have gotten an arrow here, which means the RSI is in the uh, overextended area. Then we pick up the Bollinger Band right here. Now it looks like this ribbon is extended one bar out into the future there. You can see that that green is showing and we're in front of price action right there. So I'm gonna play it for just one bar here. Okay, and so now what I'm gonna do is call this as a short right there. And so the reason I did that was we played it forward one bar and we could see that the Bollinger Band, uh, the outside of the Bollinger Band has ended and we have now broke back into the center of the Bollinger Band there. It's going to be our signal to go short. Let's go ahead and play it forward. And you can see that we do get stopped out on that one. We do pick up some more Bollinger Band action right there. Again, we're kind of leading price just a little bit here uh, by one bar there we're leading price so we just have to play it forward just one extra bar to see when that bollinger band uh, kind of break ends we end up in another short right here again still valid because we had this arrow here so we're just playing the bollinger band kind of rebound type setup right now is what we're doing and we're still just running sideways here. Looks like we might have gotten stopped out. Yeah, we did get stopped out just barely right here on these wicks there. All right, let's go ahead and play it forward. This video might end up a little long, but this is an interesting indicator. And I want to make sure that people kind of understand what we're doing here. Okay, so 
We have the red background coloration here with the ribbon, the big bar in the middle. We've gotten our signals from the RSI showing that we are in that uh, overextended to the downside area. We then get our Bollinger Band kind of confirmation there. And this right here means that we've broken back into the Bollinger Band. Let's go ahead and play it forward some. Looks like we get a little bit of a push to the upside. Not quite enough to get us to our take profit. We then spike back down and immediately back up and we are able to finally get to our take profit on that one. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through the rest of this testing just to see uh, what we can get out of this in the one year's time. That way things will get too much longer here and we'll pick it up on the other side to take a look at what this was able to achieve. All right, so that is gonna put us at the end of the year right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our Discord server. Uh, this is our Discord server here. It is free to join. You are welcome to join and take part of the conversations in most of these channels. We do have a Patreon only channel set up just for our patrons to take advantage of some great advanced information. For example, Sasquatch here is an amazing Forex prop trader. He's putting up charts like this on a regular basis where he's marking out areas of support and resistance, areas of interest, um, just really, really great chart analysis and really helping people out to understand uh, kind of how to mark up their charts and what to look for. We also have our newest admin, Mike from Upright Trading. Uh, I don't see a post from him right offhand, uh, but he's helping everybody out with indicators, uh, really helping people to understand the indicators and uh, some of his indicators. So he has a few indicators that he has created of his own. Some are paid, some are free. All of them are really cool, great indicators. And he goes above and beyond to really help people out to understand how to utilize those indicators, strategies to use them and uh, ways that you can implement them in your trading system. And he's going above and beyond to really help to update those on a regular basis and uh, really uh, kind of constantly tweaking them and, and uh, optimizing them as best he can. And all in all, we just have a wonderful group of people who are posting uh, their trades, uh, trade profits that they have taken, playing around with uh, kind of small tests and uh, people who are just developing their trading strategies. Uh, we are helping them out with uh, just advice and information, support. Everybody's uh, great in this, uh, in this channel here with supporting each other and helping everybody grow and become better traders. So just highly recommend that you join us. All right, back to our indicator here. Let's go ahead and scroll back here, take a look at our indicator. Uh, this was an interesting indicator to say the least. So let's go ahead and count it out. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. We have uh, six trades all together there. And we obviously have the one, two, three, and four winning trades. And so that will get us to our 60% criteria. Uh, this indicator uh, notated by the creator was suggested by an AI. That's become kind of a popular thing here recently is that people are using uh, the uh, chat GPT, I think it is, and a few other uh, AIs to uh, see if they can come up with profitable trading systems. Apparently this is uh, one that was suggested by, by the AI. Um, all in all, like I said, it seemed like a rather interesting system. It did meet the 60% criteria. I think I noticed a few small things uh, that looked like uh, when uh, it hit a very specific kind of uh, environment it seemed to really explode and do well don't know if anybody else noticed that but uh, just something I noticed in general but all in all a pretty solid indicator uh, did uh, an okay number of trades within the one year's time which was a little more but nonetheless it is going to go on the yes list and we will move on to the next indicator from here mm -hmm. 